We've had a few customers tell us that they were not familiar with the DIN connector found on some of our pressure transducers and not sure how to wire the connectors. So we've created this video to demonstrate how to wire a pressure transducer with a DIN connector. For this video, we'll be using the NP400 pressure transducer, but the wiring would be similar for other transducers with DIN connectors like the NP640. The first step is to remove the connector from the transducer body. I recommend removing the screw holding the connector to the pressure transducer completely. If you turn the connector over, you'll see a small slot in the corner of the connector. Insert a screwdriver into the slot to remove the screw terminal block. Once this is done, you'll have access to the screw terminals. The NP400 is a two-wire transducer, which means power and signal travel along the same two wires. Here's the wiring diagram for the MP400. It's also the same wiring for the NP640 pressure transducer. Pin one is the positive connection and pin two is the negative connection. We've connected the red wire of our cable to terminal one and the black wire to terminal two. We'll now reassemble the connector to the transducer body. You would then attach the other end of the cable to whatever device you'll use to read the pressure. Since that wiring is specific to the reading device, we won't cover it in this video, but if you have questions, feel free to contact us at IO Thrifty about this product or any of our products.